I want to go through this pretty quickly. First up, I want you guys to rewrite this one. It's already got Y by itself, but this computer program wouldn't let the two thirds be written with rise over run. It's just a slanted line, and we haven't been doing that way, so I'd like you to just rewrite it. That looks like division. It is division. Yeah, All fractions are division problems. I know they are. I, I want you guys to keep this graphic organizer in mind as we go. I'm going to have it out of sight, but you could see yours. Where do we start graphing? Positive three. On the y-axis. One, two, three. What is our slope? So we're going to rise up two and run across three. You really only need two lines on your graph to make the line, so use your straight edge. Oops, I started graphing and I forgot to check. Is it greater than or equal to or just greater than? So what kind of line does it get? Solid line. It is positive because it's positive slope. And where do we shade it? Why above? Okay. Everything above the line. Perfect. The second problem needs to be simplified. It is not in y equals mx plus b form. It actually is in standard form. This is ax, by, and c. So we need to move what first? The 2x first. Write kind of small because there's not a lot of space here. What we're left with on the left side of the inequality is negative 4y is less than or equal to negative 2x minus 8. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. Let me know if I'm off screen. And then, what are we going to divide by? Negative because it's a negative 4, what happens to the symbol? I'm going to flip the symbol first because I know myself and I tend to forget to do that. That's going to give us y on the left. Negative 2 divided by negative 4 is going to give us? Positive 1 half because I'm reducing it. And then negative 8 divided by negative 4 is going to give us? Positive 2. Where do we start the graphing? So go up at 2. What's our slope? So we're going to rise up how much? And run across how much? I'm going to do another one just because this seemed really close. Get your straight edge and make the line, but before you make the line, you have to decide if it's going to be solid or dashed. Oh. Solid. solid. It's solid if it's greater than or equal to. <coughs> Correct. And we will have a broken one on our next example. Where am I shading, everybody? It's greater than, so it's going up above, right? Realize, when I say it's greater than, that's because the Y is on the left side. If you remember back before when we decorated those flip-flops, order matters in inequalities, you want the variable on the left. And if it is, then you can graph accordingly. Okay, get book two. I'm going to do two problems in here with you, and I think you'll see that this book is practicing a slightly different kind of graphing. The lines are different, you'll see. Open your booklet to page one. Do you see y equals mx plus b here? 
we just see x is less than 3. Let's practice this first by doing this the way you guys already know how. Let's do this on a number line. Is it an open or closed circle? Open. 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 And which direction is the line going to go? Uh, X is less than 3. So it's going to the left. Oh, yeah. That means any number less than 3 will make this inequality true. Now let's do it on the graph. Which variable do we have here? X. Which axis goes with X? I. The X axis goes with the X. What direction does the X axis go? It goes left to right. That means if I'm going here, this is where 3 is for X. What it's saying is every X for this inequality starts at that point on 3. But I can't graph it this way because that would be saying a zero slope. This instead is undefined. And is it a broken line or a solid line? Broken. 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 I just said a bad word. Where are we shading? Um, we do shade. Everything left. Hello. Hello. Huey, why everything left? Right. X is less than three. That means that everything on the x-axis that's less than three gets shaded. If you see an inequality where it just has an x, that means that the y is a 0 and is gone. It also means you're going to have an undefined inequality. And then, what do you guys think will be true about ones with y? It's going to be 0. Where is this one? On the y-axis at 4. So find the 4. Solid or dashed. Oh. Where do we shade it? Why above, Huey? Because y is greater than 4. Yeah, and I want you guys to think about this. If it was on a vertical so single number line. Not like me. We would go to the 4 and fill it in. And we would go up. Because y is greater than or equal to 4. In this case, we're shading above the line. And because the line is solid, everything on that works as well because it's equal to, greater than or equal to. Mm -hmm.